So the refill in this Fisher Y2K space pen is no longer working. So I'm gonna crack it open and we'll see how the pressurized ink inside reacts. This one doesn't have a date on it, but it uh, looks to be in pretty good condition. Unfortunately, it's just not writing. Okay, so here it goes. So the nitrogen inside this refill seems to be pushing the ballpoint ink out of the uh, broken opening. It's hard to tell exactly how much ink this is. I think Fisher says it's about half a gram of ink. What that means in terms of actual writing is hard to say, but this is a lot of ink uh, using, if it's a ballpoint ink, which there's very little water in this. Uh, it's not water-based, in fact. It's oil-based, so uh, something like this will write for a very long time. We're talking uh, hard to say, but uh, sometimes up to five or 7,000 meters. So, uh, you know, miles of writing. Okay, that seems to be everything. And we have the ink here. Uh, this is some of the messiest, stickiest stuff imaginable. If this gets on your hands, uh, you probably know that is extremely hard to clean out. And uh, you can see quite how gluey that ballpoint ink is. It's very thick. Like I said, it's oil-based. There's no water in here. That's why these things last so long. There's very little evaporation. And the pressure is, uh, that explains why when you use a, uh, Fisher space pen ink or any sort of pressurized refill like a power tank from Uniball. When you don't use them for a while, you'll see some crust on the uh, the end of the ballpoint. That's because the, a little bit of this ink is sort of forcing itself out from the seams of the ball there. And you just wipe that off and you can start writing. It's no big deal. But I know some people find it to be a little bit uh, odd. This doesn't happen with their other pens. It's just a, an after effect of the pressurized refill. So yeah, that is uh, basically what happens when you crack open a pressurized Fisher PR4 refill. The, uh, <laughs> the sealant in there kind of stays in the back. The pressurized nitrogen or whatever it is pushes this forward. Presumably there's some sort of ball in here which gets pushed forward by that pressurized gas and then all the ink comes out. So hope this is interesting. Thanks for watching.